Hi, my name is Dr. Michelle Lee, and I am an ophthalmologist and LASIK surgeon. And the most common question I get asked not only by my patients, but also my family and friends is, should I get LASIK? LASIK is a very effective and successful surgery with over 95% of patients reporting satisfaction after their procedure. I see firsthand how this surgery can change lives. However, I also feel strongly that not everybody is a good candidate for LASIK. Besides the cost, which can be steep, and the risk of complication, which is present, there are other considerations when trying to figure out whether LASIK is the right choice for you. So today I thought I'd delve into things that I tell my own friends and family. So the first question you need to ask yourself is, do I have dry eye? One of the most common complaints that patients tell me after LASIK, especially within the first year, is that their eyes are so dry. Everybody notices the dry eye in the beginning, but most people learn to adapt or use a lot of tears or it doesn't bother them. But if this is something that you already have, it will get worse after surgery as severe dry eye can really decrease your quality of life. The next question you need to ask yourself is, will seeing glare at night bother me? After LASIK, you will see glare and halos and starbursts around lights. And at night, your pupil is a little bit more dilated, so any bright light like headlights is going to be reflected off your LASIK flap. And if you are a perfectionist or if you're someone that is bothered by little details or little things, LASIK may not be the best option for you. Are you pregnant or nursing? If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, your corneas will be unstable for LASIK. And this is because during pregnancy, as well as breastfeeding, there are large volume shifts happening throughout your body and your cornea, and you do need stable measurements to have LASIK surgery. I recommend that you wait at least six months after breastfeeding before your LASIK evaluation. The next really important question to ask, are you over 40 years of age? That number is significant because after about 40 years of age, you start to lose your ability to read without glasses. So if you are nearsighted and you're considering LASIK, it is important to understand that the lens that's inside the eye will harden over time and you will lose the ability to accommodate or to see at near without glasses. If you like to read without your glasses and that's something that you can do prior to LASIK, you may need to consider other options including monovision, which is when we set one eye for distance and one eye for near in order to accommodate that range. Some patients really cannot tolerate this well, so it's really important that you have a in-depth discussion with your LASIK surgeon and perhaps even trial this with contact lenses prior to your surgery to make sure that you don't don't have headaches or double vision. Another very important question is to ask if you have eye conditions or take certain medications or have certain systemic conditions that would exclude you from LASIK. Not everyone is a candidate and there are so many reasons why your LASIK surgeon may say that you're not a candidate. We have to work with at least a minimum amount of cornea in order to perform the procedure safely. There are certain medications and systemic autoimmune conditions that would prevent you from being a candidate for LASIK. So I would encourage you to bring your medication list and your medical history with you to your appointment so that nothing's missed. And it's really important that if your LASIK surgeon doesn't think you're a good candidate, not to pursue it further. If you hate wearing glasses or contacts, there are other options as well, including PRK or intraocular lenses that may allow you to see well without glasses or contacts. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. I release a new video every Saturday. Please hit the like button. And of course, let me know if you have any questions. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.